Imagine this. The North Korean regime is toppled, either because the U.S. or South Korea take it out or because of a coup, and the U.S. now has to surge troops to secure the country's nuclear stockpiles to make sure they don't fall into the wrong hands. It's a frightening scenario played out recently at the U.S. Army War College, one that did not end all that well. The military set the scene for their war game in the fictitious land of North Brownland, essentially an alias for North Korea. It was a family regime that had nuclear weapons, lost control of nuclear weapons. The population was considered to be essentially brainwashed. Paul McCleary, a writer for Defense News, was present as the military officials debated the plans. U.S. troops, he says, had immediate problems surging into the North Korea-like country. V-22 Ospreys zoom U.S. soldiers deep beyond the border, but with reinforcements so far behind, they're quickly surrounded by the enemy and need to be pulled out. American troops eventually make it over the border, but with nuclear sites located in populated areas, their mission grows more difficult. U.S. forces make humanitarian aid drops to draw people out of the cities. And they made the game as difficult as possible to really test their capabilities. They haven't really spent a lot of time or money modernizing their, their nuclear and chemical troops. So that, that's a big concern. It takes the U.S. a staggering 56 days and a huge force of 90,000 troops to secure the country's nuclear weapons, seen by many as way too long and way too many troops. We're not very well prepared to deal with a collapsed North Korea. North Korea expert Bruce Bennett says his numbers for containing the regime's nuclear arsenal run much higher, 200,000 troops. That's larger than the forces in Iraq and Afghanistan at its peak. We would have to send perhaps a third of our army to South Korea in order to deal with the weapons of mass destruction. It's thought that North Korea has 100 sites linked to their nuclear and missile program, but with a black tarp shrouding intelligence on the locations, U.S. troops would likely have to fight their way through the country to find and secure them. North Korea has about 1.2 million people in the military. That's a very large military for us to deal with, uh, but they also have, according to the South Korean Defense Ministry, about 200,000 special forces. And those special forces would be prepared to fight you like Taliban or the Iraqi insurgents. The Army today was quick to remind CNN that the fictional North Brownland in the war game might not expressly be North Korea per se, but any one of the 28 countries that have weapons of mass destruction capabilities.